Thank you guys, Dub Nation. You're bringing the heat on all these videos as of late, including over 110,000 views on a mailbag over the weekend. You guys are the best. We just crossed 33,000 subscribers, so a round of applause to all of you who have subscribed. The road to 34K is underway. So help us get there because Warriors rumors, news, they're heating up as NBA free agency gets going this Thursday, 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock on the West Coast. So go ahead and subscribe. The link is down below. It's youtube.com slash Warriors TV. If you want the best Warriors news and rumors all off season long as this team looks to repeat next year, go ahead and subscribe right now. The latest Golden State new Warriors news and rumors coming at you. I am Harrison Graham from Chat Sports. NBA free agency is almost here, so let's get you caught up on everything surrounding Dub Nation. Now, I do want to get to this first. Draymond Green talked about Kyrie and his potential of joining the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's what Draymond had to say on this potential reunion between LeBron James and Kyrie Irving. He says, quote, with LeBron James, if you give them someone like Kyrie, they'll have a chance because of the way Kyrie can score the basketball. LeBron will only put him in a position to do that. Kyrie has not proven to be a great leader, but LeBron will put an umbrella over that. If you can do what you're good at, you have LeBron leading, they could contend, but then he adds this, but they won't beat us. I think what he's saying is completely accurate. I think if you get Kyrie and dump Russ, that does help the Lakers' chances of contending. But I also agree, I don't think it puts L.A. over the top. Kyrie Irving, since they won a championship in 2016 with the Cleveland Cavaliers, has been anything un but reliable. Uh, he's not a leader. He got ran out of Boston for his lack of leadership skills. Um, it has not worked out in Brooklyn. Uh, but he's a damn good player, and he's better with Russ, so it would make the Lakers better. But I agree with Draymond, too. Cocky or not, hey – the Warriors are still the team to beat, even if Kyrie ends up in Los Angeles. So uh, it'll be fascinating to see how that plays out, how it could impact Golden State's chances of repeating. But I tend to lean with Draymond here. If Kyrie lands in L.A., I'm still not that concerned. Uh, I think Golden State is still clearly a peg above Los Angeles. Are you worried about Kyrie joining the Lakers? Be honest with me. Type Y for yes, type N for no. I don't think you should be worried is it another peg you have to work through in the Western Conference? Sure, because at that point, L.A. has to be considered a formidable foe. Why for yes and for no, are you concerned about Kyrie possibly joining the Lakers? Let's talk about Kyle Anderson. Could he be a target for the Warriors during NBA free agency? Bleacher Report dropped an article of one target each team should go out and look at during free agency. They pointed to Kyle Anderson as an option for that taxpayer mid-level for Golden State. And look, Kyle Anderson has had a nice few years in Memphis. He was kind of a semi-bust with the uh, San Antonio Spurs to start his career. Goes to Memphis, and he's played pretty darn well the last few years. Here's Bleacher Report on Kyle Anderson and the fit with Golden State. Quote, the Warriors could spend upward of $500 million on the salaries and luxury tax payments for the 22-23 squad. But if ownership throws even more caution to the wind, a forward like Kyle Anderson on the taxpayer mid-level exception makes a lot of basketball sense. And I agree with that because the thing about Kyle Anderson is – He's very well-rounded, can do a bit of everything. He can handle the ball a little bit. He's a pretty good defender. He's not the best three-point shooter, but he's good enough to space the floor. He can grab rebounds. He can play defense. Uh, he can start. He can come off the bench. He does a bit of everything. He's not great at anything, but he's not bad at anything. He's pretty solid all around uh, at pretty much everything you need in a basketball player, especially on a, guy, on a team like the Warriors. He can come in, play 20 minutes a game, uh, probably come off the bench, but you know, on load management nights, he can start for you uh, as well, and you don't feel like, oh God, Kyle, we got to trot Kyle out there. No, Kyle Anderson's a solid player uh, and can fit in with this team, and I think fit in with just about any team with his skill set. Now, maybe you don't want Kyle Anderson. Maybe you want someone else with the Golden State Warriors. So go down in the comments and name a free agent that you want the Warriors to sign. Let me know in the comments who would you like to see Golden State go out and sign. And be sure to join us for our NBA free agency live coverage starting on Thursday, June 30th. Free agency opens at 6 Eastern, 5 Central, 3 o'clock over on the West Coast. For those of you near the Bay, subscribe to our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. We will have you guys covered with everything surrounding NBA free agency and the Golden State Warriors. 
Kai Soto did not get drafted in the NBA draft, but there's some rumors out there, some buzz around whether or not he'll sign with a team in the Summer League after being uh, not picked in last week's NBA draft. Uh, now, initially, his agent came out and said that he will not play in the Summer League. Kai Soto uh, tweeted out after my agent misspoke. I have not made a firm decision yet. Now, he then d deleted that tweet, so... Could that signal that he's not going to play in the summer league? Possibly, but he hasn't completely dismissed it. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens on that front. Kai Soto did tweet this a couple of days ago. Uh, not the outcome that we wanted, talking about not getting picked, but it's what I needed. My vision became clear, and I believe in God's plans for me. I'm far from over, and I'm not stopping till I get to fulfill my dreams. Obviously, he's got the Filipino uh, flag there as well. Here's what I'll say. Kai Soto should play in the Summer League. I think it would benefit him greatly. He could show uh, NBA uh, scouts and coaches what his skill set is, what he's all about, uh, not only as a player, but as a potential teammate as well. I think it would be a great and unique opportunity. Even if after the Summer League he decides, ah, I'm going to stay overseas, I'm going to play uh, for the 36ers in Adelaide for a couple more years, okay, great, and continue to develop, you can do that. But sign with an NBA team and play in the Summer League. I think that would benefit Kai Soto very, very much, and I think it would would be the right decision for him in his career. Do you want your favorite team, I meant to say sign Kai Soto, do you want your favorite team to sign him? Uh, I think a lot of you guys wanted him to draft him. Like this video if you would like to see your favorite team sign Soto for the NBA Summer League. Now you looked at his numbers from last year, Seven and a half points, 4.4 rebounds. He can stretch the floor as a pretty good shooter from deep, 38 and a half percent. Now, you know, he, he gets stuck on switches, and that can be a little challenging defensively, but when he's able to just uh, defend the paint, decent rim protector as well. And here's the deal about Kai Soto, and I understand the passion behind it and why he was frustrated and why fans were frustrated as well, because he's got a whole country behind him. I mean, he's got a chance to be the first uh, – Filipino NBA player in NBA history. That, that's a lot of pressure and a lot of expectations around him, and that is why he should play in the Summer League. So, Kai, if you're watching, get with the team, get with your agent, get on board, and let's play in the Summer League. Let's see what you can bring to the table. I want to see it. We're going to cover the Summer League here at Chat Sports, and uh, we would be fired up if he played in the Summer League and we got to see what he could bring to the table for these teams. Uh, I think a lot of teams would be very interested in bringing him on board. Up to him if he wants to do that or not. Predict it for us. Will Kai Soto play in the NBA Summer League? Type P for play. Type W for won't. I don't think he's going to, which is a bit disappointing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section.